to get, I want to show y'all the, the clip of Tonya, because Tonya, she's everybody's grandmother, and I hope y'all can see it. Check it out. You ready? Miguelito, oye, dame dos pesos al 37 con el par de 7. Eh, yo quiero tres pesos para el 31. Oye, Aleni, ¿cómo es que es cumpleaños tu primo? El 17, con el 17, Seven Sting. Y tres pesos al 216. Aleni, ven, que ya no vamos, que ya yo tengo que pagar. Muchachos, diablo, coño, pero ¿dónde te tú estás sacando con toda esta mierda? Yo te dije a ti que yo puedo pagar todo eso. Yo te dije que compré una papita y tú vas a coger la más cara, coño, muchachos, diablo, todo. Y, y, y mira, explícame, ¿a dónde están los malditos arenques que yo te puse esta mañana a ti? Este no sé, que te quedé todo, tú no sabes todo, lo cuarto. Vamos a esa vaina para atrás. Coño, estos muchachos, el diablo. Uh, 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 what are we gonna uh, say there about Tonya? Her clothes and everything. Well, you know, so she got the typical hair up and, and a wrap. She got her glasses. She got her white chancletas and the, the, the typical batas that you find in 181st Street or 125th. Um, and this is how she's like, Mira, mi amor, you, you're not going to do that today to me, okay? I, I cannot. I tell you all the time, okay? If you're going to go outside, make sure your panties clean. Because if something happened to you and the ambulance gets you, you want to have clean panties, okay? <laughs> yeah. It's those things that, like, <laughs> who gives that type of advice? But it's very good. Everybody's grandmother. Yeah, I got that advice. advice. But not clean panties, clean boxes. Oh, boxers, drawers, yeah. Yeah. Briefs. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see you as a panties type of guy. I mean, it's 2020. It's all yeah. outside, but I'm not part of that. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> no disrespect. Outside. No disrespect at all. Yeah, but it's all outside. Yeah, it's not. It's not in the closet no more. It's all out there. Like it's crazy. So, um, doing your your comedy and your sketches, you get love, but do you get any hate? Like people like, like, dislike what you do. Um, there might be one or two trolls, but like we like we live for that shit. Like it's funnier to us. Okay. To to see that, like you just you just bringing more attention to our post. Um. It, it really doesn't bother me at all. Like, at the end of the day, we, we know that that's the internet and that's expected. Um, you have to try to ignore it. There are times that I clap back every every once in a while. It really depends on what, what they're saying or, or how they're trying to portray me. Like, uh, I'll correct certain people. Okay. But sometimes it's actually just funnier to watch <laughs> the trolls. It's yeah. even funnier. That's why most celebrities sometimes will reply to them. They either got ticked off mm -hmm. or they found it really funny. Okay. You yeah. also remind me of like the old sketch shows that used to be on Channel 41 mm -hmm. and stuff like that when they used to have the games mm -hmm. and, and all of that stuff. I see that in, in your in your comedy now. Do they reach out to you? Does the Latin community reach out to you to do projects with them? And um, Because it's starting to yeah. come big like that in music too. Like you're starting to see emerging. Yeah, there's a lot of more. That before. A lot of more Latinos and Afro Latinos being requested. Uh, I I've always felt in the middle. I'll be honest. Um, I was born here. My mom had me when she was 40 years old. So I'm the only child that she had here in the United States after she was here for like two years. And I grew up in Harlem. So my my energy's Harlem compared to maybe you know Washington Heights is like real real dominican mm -hmm. you know shout out to my people i'm dominican and and i recognize that we're afro latinos mm -hmm. um but i don't always feel like my most comfortable is, is that even a word yes you just it made is. it up yeah it good is. don't worry it about is. it we remedial here you yes, gotta worry about that put the the most most word in there every year so that's <laughs> the new word of 2020. i, I felt the most comfortable bliss uh-huh <laughs> um with like i feel more comfortable with my like with my friends from from harlem and it's 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 an up and down however like you mentioned it's there's like a demand now so i got to do background work for west side stories and that was like really dope um i think you go perfect yeah. with west side story too well i can't i hope i see myself well let, let that thing air i'm gonna be like yo that was my hair mm -hmm. back there in the dot no yes <laughs> and lynn miranda's in the heights mm -hmm. i did background work for that too yeah so you I post can... that as well yes. how was that experience it's just beautiful um because i've i've seen lynn from before i went to see um in the heights on broadway 
and my ex fiance during that time used to be close friends with him when they were little. So he told me the stories of how they used to write rhymes and, and write stories and act it out in their house. So to see how he bring that to the next level and then just went off, like he went off. Like, and that's, that's really, really dope. Um, he got to do Hamlet. I didn't get to see Hamlet, but to see the big production and how it was in Washington Heights and they really reached out to the people in the neighborhood the same thing for West Side Stories. Like they they filmed in Harlem, they filmed in Patterson, Jersey, and they really looked out for the people in their in that neighborhood. Um, it's it's, it's dope. Uh -huh.